Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my stem bins, but before we get into that, I, you probably noticed that my room is a little different than it was last week when I put up that video of our homeschool room tour, and I told you in that video that I was going to get rid of that green table, and I did. So this is not complete, but it's kind of an overview. I just wanted to give you a heads up if you're watching a video and you're like, oh, she moved her room. Um, I didn't expect for my table to sell that quick, and it did. So we went and got these, um, found these two Ikea uh, bar stools, and the kids are sitting there for now, and it's working out great. Um, we've got our little reading area, and just did some like DIYs over here. None of the stuff on the top is kind of where it's going to be. I don't know. I don't know where it's going to be, but um, <laughs> just threw some pillows down there. They love it so far. Um, they like that no one can see them. I don't know why that's important, but hey whatever works um they find it cozy even though it's kind of open still and i did some diy letters from um ac moore painted those and i just kind of moved all this stuff over here not a big change um just kind of moved where it was at in our room same with this stuff didn't really change anything um but yeah let's get into our stem bins and i'll show you how we got that set up you can hear the wind. Irma has hit our city today, so it's not like as bad as they thought it was going to be, but definitely getting some heavy wind and rain right now. It's about midnight, so we're in for a long night. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the stem bins. So I have more information on what stem is in the blog post, and I'll leave that link below. Um, I got these boxes from Michael's. They were a dollar. This one's already busted because my two-year-old decided to stand on it the day I got it. Um, but that's life. <laughs> so, um, but I love that they were rainbow colored. I got two of each color that they had. Um, it seemed like they might have had like a brighter pink and a lighter purple or something like that. Um, also, but um, I just got the six colors that I thought looked good. And um, just started filling them. So these were originally going to be like little sensory bins for um, Clayton. But since then, I just kind of thought, well, we have all that um, kind of STEM-based stuff. Um, so I kind of wanted to just put that together um, where they could easily grab the boxes and then put them back where they belong. So, um this is mostly stuff that we've already had and then some things that I've put together off Pinterest and also if you'll scroll down click my blog link scroll down to the bottom you'll see my Pinterest board that is just chock full of some of my favorite stem um, pins and um, resources that you can use there so let's get right into what's in these so in this first box and this blue box that is also the same color are these interlocking pinwheel shaped things. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what they're called. Um, but <laughs> I was thinking that they were all round, but they're not. So interlocking shapes, I guess. Um, and these are really fun. They really like them. They tend to hold together really good. We just have so many that we've had to put um, some in both of those. And then this one is toothpicks and um, balls and let's see if they fall out. So there's our balls and then in this little container, um, it's an old first aid kit, is the toothpicks and they can build um, different things. I also encourage them to um, use multiple boxes. Um, I have cards. That we've printed off which you can get through the Pinterest link um, they are not my cards I did not design them um, but for whatever project you can pretty much find um, idea cards to print off and use so we have those and um, really need to put them over here so this one's the interlock um, snap cubes we've got cards for those and I have two of those like I said we just have way too many these are the plastic cups you can get these at Dollar Tree and they're the little teeny tiny ones um, these are plastic you can find the tiny cups that are um, 
they're like the durable plastic um, not like disposable plastic um, you can find those at uh, I think Walmart um, then we have um, pipe cleaners and straws so this is these tiny little straws you can see them and there's some different straws in there um, and then these pipe cleaners um, these are fall colors and I just switch them out um, with whatever season it is to change the colors up really really my kids get really creative with this one this was one of my favorite and cheapest boxes to make um, you kind of just stick the pipe cleaner in the straw so far and you can kind of bend it and use it to hook the straws together um, also you can kind of just give them um, if you don't find cards for the certain um, whatever whatever stuff you want to put in your box you can just tell them to build a car or a house or a robot you can build like make cards for that if they get stuck um, or, or, or not good at using their imagination so there's some more of those blocks um, this is mag formers um, I would love to get some more of these but for now this is what we've got left out of our big set we had last year they get gone pretty pretty off. well they haven't got gone since they've been put in here but where they were before they were getting gone um, and those are really good really good for my two-year-old too he loves them more snap cubes um, this one is sticky popsicle sticks so that is these jumbo popsicle sticks with velcro and they have velcro on um, all four corners on both sides so how you do these whew, how you do these is um, so this side's soft this one's hard this one's soft and this one's hard so the opposite um, on each side that way you can use them to build on use all four corners to build if they need it um, that's how I found the best way that that works and then let's see sponges so this is another dollar store purchase um, so the cups the popsicle sticks these and the straws and pipe cleaners they were all from Dollar Tree at some point or another so these are the sponges and oh you can find some links on my Pinterest board for these my recommendation is to open the pack when you buy them open them and let them dry out before you go to cut them because they are a little damp um, when you first get them they're not damp now but um, when you first get them they're a little damp just from being in the packaging and whatever coating or whatever they put on them um, and you just cut them and I cut them with like Jenga size things in mind so um, they're not perfect um, I did cut mine when they were wet so they kind of made a mess or not a mess they just didn't cut as good and then this is a bend of sticks and I found this at a um, called Mighty Dollar if you're local if you're in the south east and you have a Mighty Dollar um, I'm not sure if they're anywhere else but um, it's just all these bendable things and there's a book in here um, there's a lot of stuff in here um, and this is like what's left like the first day we got this all the kids like made robots and bracelets and all kinds of things out of this so um, that's been to sticks if I go back to that Mighty Dollar that had these um, I'll probably go ahead and get another one because they were in a big um, like board box board game box uh, size box and um, it had so much stuff in it and they were only a dollar so um, that's just what's left out of that um, there is my seasonal box right now in my seasonal box I just have these um, apple colored pom-poms and I had a tree in here with velcro dots on it that they um, that he could um, stick them on this was like more for my two-year-old I have some acorns um, that I think I'm gonna put in here um, 
I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to put in there. I have like so much stuff on Pinterest that I want to do. It's hard just picking one seasonal item. Um, I also bought some pumpkin um, candy corns today that I thought would be fun in there with like some toothpicks. I don't know. Um, get creative. Use what you got on hand. Um, see what you can find at your local dollar stores or in the clearance. Um, for STEM, we also have our um, bristle blocks. Those are big. I do let them use um, the uh, Matthew C blocks if they want to use those. Um, eventually, I want this whole shelf to be technically called a maker space so that they have like lots of tape and glue and um, toilet paper rolls and um, cotton balls and toothpicks and q-tips and stuff they can tape and glue and stick together and um, not necessarily things that they need to put back um, together so that's kind of our goal like after I have the baby and probably the spring um, realistically um, once we get um, through Christmas and through having this baby and start the new year um, we may just kind of kick off our new homeschool year with a nice big maker space I don't know <laughs> um, I would love for that to happen sooner than later but you know that's just how life is <laughs> sometimes um, so that's it that is my um, stem box stem bins stem boxes whatever you want to call them um, click on that link on Pinterest see what you can find see what inspires you um, we love these for we don't just like love these we need these we alternate our math and reading in the morning so I have to do reading with both my kids and so one of them will do math while the other one's doing reading and usually somebody's finished faster than the other depending on what they got that day um so this is great for me easy for me to say go do a stem bin uh, pick a card do something um and they can pick their card and come over here and get what um bins they want out to use for that so it's just a really great easy way for them to use up their extra time um, while they're waiting on the other one to finish so we can move along with our loop and um, yeah it's great we, we we need creativity in our lives and in our homeschool and it almost serves as like a brain break because even though they're exercising that mind they don't necessarily look at it that way they look at it as getting to be messy and creative and do something fun so um, we love our stem bins and I hope to just really take off with this this year um, a lot of these things we've kind of had over the years and just um, discovered that they were actually um, useful with um, STEM related projects. Um, but uh, anyway guys, I hope you guys like this video. If you do give it a thumbs up, don't forget to hit subscribe. Don't um, Check out that link below to the blog post so you can see. Um, all of my favorite pins and um, all that good stuff. So, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.